So in this video, we will learn how to create Trello cards from new row in Microsoft Excel. Now guys, the automation which we are going to create using this, you can automatically create new cards in Trello. So the trigger of this automation will be addition of new row, addition of new data in Microsoft Excel. And the action will be creation of card in Trello. Now guys, how you are going to set up this automation for yourself? To know this, you have to come with me to my screen. So first, we will go to a browser and search for pabbly, pabbly.com slash connect. And after reaching to the landing page of Pabbly Connect, by clicking on sign up free, you can create your free Pabbly Connect account in just two minutes. Or if you already have an account, just click on sign in. So I will sign into my own Pabbly Connect account. After signing in, you will reach to this all apps page of Pabbly. Here you have to click on access now below Pabbly Connect. After clicking on Access Now, you can see that we have reached Public Connect dashboard. In this dashboard, just click on Create Workflow and give this workflow a name. For example, I would like to name my workflow as Microsoft Excel, MS Excel, to Trello and click on Create. Now we can see that our workflow is open over here. And in this workflow, we have two different windows. First one is trigger window, second one is action window. So triggers and actions are basically those two concepts, those two principles on which this whole automation works on, where the trigger says when this happens and the action says do this. So let's begin with our trigger window. So the idea here is first we have to get the details or the data of new task which we are entering in our Microsoft Excel sheet in Pabbly Connect. After that, after getting the data, we have to send that same data to Trello so that we can create a card over there with the data in Microsoft Excel. Now to begin with, here in trigger window, in choose app, we have to search for Microsoft Excel. Microsoft Excel it is. And after that, in trigger event from the drop down, we have to select new row in worksheet. Click on connect and select add new connection. Now here guys, we have to connect our Microsoft Excel account with Pavly Connect. And to make this connection, just click on this connect with Microsoft Excel button. And guys, because I have already connected or already logged into my own browser in my Microsoft Excel account, Pavly Connect has detected the same account. And now it is asking us for the authorization permission. Just click on yes. And then we will see that our Microsoft Excel account gets connected with Pavly Connect. After making this connection, the next thing it asks us is the workbook. So in the drop down below, we can see a list of all the workbooks which we have created in our Microsoft Excel account can be seen over here. So the workbook which we are going to use in this video is named as ongoing team project. So in this workbook, in this Excel sheet, I am adding all the details of the projects on which me and my team members are working on. Details like the name of the project, the description of the project and the due date. So I want that whenever I add the details of a new project as a new row in Microsoft Excel, a new card will be, should be created in my Trello account on this board, the board named as daily task and report and under this working on list. Now guys, we have to get this data from this sheet ongoing team project. So we will be selecting this sheet, this Excel sheet over here in this workbook section, ongoing team project, just like the sheet. So after selecting our workbook, it is asking us for the worksheet. And as you can see in this workbook, I have only one sheet named as sheet one. So here in the drop down, we will select sheet one. And after that, as we click on save and send test request, the details of the first row means after the headings, the details of the first row will be captured in Pavly Connect. So let's first, let's add the details of a new project. For example, I'll add the project name as Microsoft to do integration. So let's after this add the description, how to integrate Microsoft to do with Pavly Connect. And after adding the description as well, we wanted to add the current date. Just let me do a little bit of formatting with this and that's it. So we are done. And yes, let's add a due date. So due date will be September 
September 4th, 2022. So this is the due date. Now, after adding these details, this data which using which we want to create a card in Trello, after adding this data in the new row, we will go to Public Connect and click on Save and Send Test Request. And after clicking on Save and Send Test Request, we can see that the data which we have just now added in Microsoft Excel is now received in Public Connect. So here in trigger window in response received, we can see the same response. So we have the name of the project, which we have added Microsoft to do integration. We have the description of the project as well as the due date, which we have added in Microsoft Excel sheet. So basically the step one of setting up this automation is now successfully completed. We have successfully added the details of uh, the details in Microsoft Excel sheet, and we have received that data in public connect so that using these details, we can create a new card in Trello. Now, after this, what we have to do, we have to send this data to Trello so that we can create a card over there using Public Connect and this automation. Now, to do so, we will scroll down and come to this action window over here. And in Choose App, we will search for Trello. Get Trello, select Trello from here. And after that, in Action Event from the drop down, we have to select Create a Card with plain text type description. Then just click on Connect and select Add New Connection. Now here guys, we have to connect our Trello account with Public Connect. And to make this connection, it requires the username, API key and API token of our Trello account. Now here you must be thinking how we are going to get these details. Now to get these details, as you can see, I have already logged into my Trello account and my browser. And after logging in at this connection page, you can see a help text below that which says you can find the above details by logging to your Trello account. So we have already did. After login, you can get the API key and can, and can generate the token from here. So here we have the hyperlink, just click on it. And in the new tab, it will take you to a page. And at this page, you can find the API key of your Trello account. Just copy this API key from here, go to public connect and paste it over here. After that, get back to this developers page and below it, we have, we have another hyperlink named as token. Just click on this token hyperlink and at this page, you will find the username of your Trello account. Just copy this username from here, go to public and next connection window and paste it over here. And at last, at this username page, just scroll down and click on this allow button. And now you can see the token. Just copy this token from here, go to public connect and paste it over here. And after getting all of this detail and adding it at this window, just click on save. Now, as we click on save, we will see that our Trello account get connected with public connect. So you just don't have to do anything. Just log into your Trello account in your browser. After that, just click on the hyperlink given in the connection window in the help text. Then just you copy the API key from this page and username and token from this page and add it over here. After making this connection, the next thing it asks us is to choose the board. So in the drop down below, we can see a list of all the boards which we have created in our Trello account can be seen over here. And out of all of these boards in board in which I want to create a new card using this Microsoft Excel detail is named as daily task and reports. So we will be selecting this board in the drop down below daily task and report. After selecting our board, the next thing it asks us is the list ID. So here in this board, I have created three different lists right now. The first list is daily task. The second list is working on and the third list is monthly task. So I want the data which I'm adding in Microsoft Excel using these details, a new card should be created in this list named as working on. So in when, whichever list you want to add the data from the drop down, select that list. So here from this drop down, I will be selecting working on. Then after that, it is asking us some details of the card which we want to create like the name of the card, the description, position, member ID, label ID, due date, and all of these things. So we have received the name of the project, the name of the card description from Microsoft Excel. So I want to name the card as the data app entered in Microsoft Excel. This is it. Then we have this data, the description of the card and the due date as well. So what we have to do, we have to actually map this data, map this response of data, which we have received from Microsoft Excel in this Trello's action step. And guys, the process of mapping is very simple. Simply click on this field and in the drop down below, you can see all the responses which we have received from Microsoft Excel can be seen over here. 
and out of all of these responses select the response of the name of the card and map it so i want to add the name of the card as the name of the project i want that the name of the project should be the name of the card in trello so that's why i have added the response of the name of the project in this name section then in description i want to add the description of the project so we have also received the description using the same technique of mapping we will add the description as well just click on this field and from the drop down below from microsoft excel responses select the response of description and map it the next thing it asks us is the position that the new card which we are creating it should be positioned at the bottom of the list or at the top of the list i want that every new card should be placed at the top so i will select top over here then it is asking us the member id do i want to add or label any kind of member or my trello board member to this new card so i don't want to do it so i'll just leave this field blank also the label id i also don't want to add any kind of label to this new card so i will just leave this label id field as blank then it is asking us for the due date so we have received the due date from microsoft excel this is it now we have to map this same date over here in this due date field and the help text below it says enter a due date from the card in this format so we have to enter the due date in this format that is month day and year so we have entered the due date in our microsoft excel sheet in this same format month date and year both of september 2022 so we will be mapping the same date just click here and from the drop down below map the due date and the url source this is also not a required field a mandatory field so we are going to just ignore this field for now and after mapping all of these basic details just click on save and send test request after clicking on save and send test request we can see that we have received a response over here and this response seems to be a positive response to us this response shows that the data which we have mapped over here basically the data of which we have added in microsoft excel sheet using this data we have created a new card in trello so let's see we will go to a trello board and yes you can see that here in this list working with which we have selected in pavli connect over here a new card has been created the name of the card is microsoft to do integration same name which we have created uh, which we have entered in our microsoft excel sheet then in the description of this card says we have to integrate microsoft to do with pavli connect so so the same description which we have entered in microsoft excel sheet and also the same due date both of september 2022 so we have also have the due date over here let's see for the due date okay this is 4th of september 2022 the same due date this means guys the automation which we have created in this video is working perfectly fine now every time i will add the details of a new card a new project in this microsoft excel sheet automatically using the details a new card will be created in my trello board over here in this particular list now after setting up this automation let's get back to pavli connect and understand in brief that what are the steps we followed So first we have created a workflow in Pavli Connect and in this workflow we have connected Microsoft Excel with Pavli Connect then after that we have received the data or the response which we have entering in our Microsoft Excel the data of a new row which we have entered we have captured that data in Pavli Connect after that using Pavli Connect we have sent that same data to Trello so that using that data we can create a new card in Trello so not just these application guys you can basically connect plenty of other applications using Pavli Connect And guys one more important thing you will find the clone link of the same workflow in the description box below by clicking on that link you can clone the same workflow into your own public connect account and use this workflow for free if you need any kind of help or have any queries you can ask them on forum.pavli.com and you can check public and expressing at this link so if you this video was helpful to you you can like this video don't forget to share it with others and to keep getting such content on automation and integration you can subscribe to pavli thank you have a nice day